welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I transform from mom to mamacita again. Today is a beautiful sunny day outside. I am feeling all the spring vibes so I decided to do a purple eyeshadow look. I'm even wearing a dress and so if you guys want to see how I transform from this to this then keep on watching. Now I'm going to clip my hair back and zoom you guys in so we can get started on the makeup. Okay, so I'm going to be using all affordable makeup. I will be using drugstore makeup in this video, but I do want to use other affordable makeup brands that are not technically like drugstores such as Morphe, Juvia's Place, like those kind of brands that they sell like at Ulta, but most of the products are going to be drugstore and it's gonna be super like spring vibes super excited so I'm gonna be using the morphe filter effect foundation I actually picked up a new shade this is in the color medium 15 so hopefully this one works out for me I think it will so I decided I'm gonna wear my NYX first base primer spray So that it can prolong the wear of my makeup throughout the day. I do want to go outside. It's a beautiful sunny day today. It feels finally like spring and I'm so excited. I want to go out and take pictures with the kids and stuff. So I want my makeup to last long and I don't want it to like break up or melt or anything. So um, I really like using that spray. It's one of my favorites. So just make sure that it dries down completely before you apply your foundation over top of it. So I'm going to use the Morphe foundation and then just in case you don't know, um, this is supposed to be a uh, soft focus foundation medium to full coverage. This is a long wearing oil free natural finish hydrates the skin blurs imperfections for the ultimate soft focused look. So let me just dot this all over my face and I'm using the eco tools sponge. I love it because it's so soft and it's so squishy and it's also big so you know it gets the job done quicker. Look at this color, it's perfect. Yes, the other one was lighter. The foundation that I tried out in my video, if you haven't watched that, I'll link it up here. Um, it was media number 15. This, I mean, this one's 15, I think it was number 13. The warm shade that's like right under this one. So this one's like the next shade up. Yes, this is like perfect. Let me see. Yes, this is like a really, really good match for me. It doesn't make me look yellow like mustard. Oh, this is a really, really good color right here. This is a really, really good match. I have oily skin, so I always have to put powders up over my foundations and like uh, my setting sprays. When I do those extra steps, I never have problems with any of my foundations. They're a must for me. I think I'm going to use Wet n Wild today. So I'm going to use Wet n Wild's Light and Honey. This is the Photo Focus Concealer. Okay, and I'm going to blend that out with the same sponge. This is Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the color Fair Light. This is my favorite powder ever because it's so finely milled. It gives me like extra coverage, extra brightness. It really helps to cover up these like un these mom circles, you know, these under eye circles. So I don't really apply concealer to my chin and forehead. I just don't really like doing that too much. But what I do like to do is apply um, my powder since it is lighter. It will kind of highlight those areas. And, um, and it'll also help with my oiliness. So this helps to mattify those areas because I do get oily, you know, in the T-zone. 
So I am gonna let that sit for a little while and I'm gonna do my eyebrows. Um, I usually don't do my makeup in this order, but I just feel like I need to let it sit a little bit since this isn't a mattifying foundation. It's a natural finish foundation. So I just feel like I need to let it um, sit for a while. So I just kind of dusted the powder off of my brows a little and I'm gonna fill them in with my Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim in the color medium brown. Okay, and that's it. So this is one eyebrow done, and this one has nothing on it. I just kind of, you know, fill in little sparse areas, define the shape a little bit more, and you guys saw me um, kind of clean up the bottom over here a little bit, and I don't put any concealer on my brush. I just take a little flat brush and run it under if I feel like I need to clean up and this just kind of like erases my pencil marks but I don't apply any concealer or anything to like carve them out. I just kind of clean up the little pencil marks. So now I'm going to take a powder brush and just go over the loose powder and I'm going to start pressing this into the skin. All the excess powder that I have laying on the center of my face I'm kind of like I'm going to spread it out throughout my entire face and set my foundation. I even set my eyes a little bit since I put concealer on them. So now for bronzer, I'm gonna use my Physicians Formula Matte Manoi Butter Bronzer. Okay, so now I like to take a big fluffy stippling brush. This one's from Wet n Wild. And really lightly swirl over the bronzer to make sure that I don't have any harsh lines. It's blended, the edges are seamless. So I zoomed you guys in a little so we can do the eyes really quick. Um, I know I jump around from face to eyes to face to eyes, but that's just how I do my makeup because I usually get like bored, you know, of doing one thing. Like I have to just, I don't know, I have to be jumping around or I get bored. Um, so I'm going to be using this beautiful Juvia's Place, the Violet. And it has just all these beautiful purple violet eyeshadows in here. And I think I'm going to use this bottom row right here because I love these three colors so much. Actually, I might use a little bit of that one too, maybe. Okay, so I'm gonna take a fluffy brush. This is a Morphe and Jaclyn Hill JH30 brush. And I'm gonna pick up the purple, the matte light purple right here. I love wearing purples on my eyes and I haven't worn it. I haven't worn purple in a long time, so I'm excited for this. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that. I love this color purple. Okay. So I'm going to take the same color but with a smaller brush. I'm going to use this Luxie 237 blending brush. It's a tiny brush and I'm going to pick up the same color but with since this is a smaller brush, we're going to be able to concentrate this more right directly into the crease. So that's going to make it seem like it's a little bit darker even though it's the exact same color. Do you see how that darkens up the crease? 
beautiful love it i applied my purples on this eye so now i'm gonna take the lighter purple and apply it to my inner half of my eye and the dark purple right here to the outer half of my eye and in the middle i'm gonna make sure to like blend these two together This is like such an easy look and these eyeshadows are so easy to blend. I feel like anyone can pretty much do this eyeshadow look. Super easy peasy lemon squeezy and I only used three shades from this palette, these bottom three. Okay, so I'm reaching into another Juvia's Place eyeshadow palette. I didn't want to do that. I don't know like what inner corner highlight to apply. This little eyeshadow palette doesn't really have like an inner corner highlight. I mean, I could use the same purple, but I want something even more brighter. I just love super bright inner corner highlight. Like that's one of my favorite things. It's like a staple of mine. One of my signature little things that I do to my makeup. Most of the highlights that I have are like golden or like very warm tone and since this is very cool tone I want like a cool tone highlight and I found this really nice color right here it's called Jisa it's in this uh, masquerade mini by Juvia's Place I've been doing a super bright inner corner highlight since high school when I started playing with eyeshadows I used to have this little single eyeshadow from Victoria's Secret that was white and shimmery and I used to apply that to my inner corners. Even if I didn't have any eyeshadow makeup on, like even if I didn't have any other eyeshadow on, I always applied my white shimmery eyeshadow in my inner corners. And so I just that just kind of stuck with me. So I do that all the time, but I mean of course I don't always use white. I actually never really use white anymore. But anyways, this is like one of the eyeshadow looks that I used to do when I was in high school. Like I used to do a purple eyeshadow look like this. I talked about it in my Ulta haul a couple of months ago. Just trying to blend it into the purple a little. Because it's since it's so bright, you have to blend it in with the lid color. Or else it's just going to look weird out of place and you know not cute so uh, since i love a super bright inner corner highlight i have to blend it in with the lid colors all the time I found these super cute eyelashes from the Dollar Tree, you guys. The Dollar Tree. So these are Ioni 3D Foam Ink Lashes, cruelty free, vegan, and they are so pretty. These are in the style Wispy Natural Flare. I don't know where else they sell this. I mean, I've never heard of this. I've only seen them at um, e.l.f. I mean, <laughs> I've only seen them at the Dollar Tree and they did have a bunch of styles. Like I picked up like probably like six different styles, I think. This sun is like shining right at my head. Oh my God. Fixed that problem. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna pop these eyelashes on.
So that is my completed makeup. Now we're gonna move on to hair. So while I'm waiting for my um, straightener to heat up, I'm going to get dressed. I got this cute dress from the store here in Chicago called Discovery. I love this tie-dye. It's like kind of like pink and purple and orangey. So pretty, so I wanna wear this and um, you guys, I have not gotten my bras yet, but let me give you guys a sneak peek. I do have my Savage X Fenty. I ordered, I think, six or seven bras. I have not opened it. I haven't tried it on. I want to do that all on camera. So I'm going to stick to what I've been using. Whenever I use a very small, like, outfit, you know, that I can't really wear, like, my big, like, bralettes with. Um, this is what I've been wearing. Uh, it's just one of those little sticky things and then it has this so you can bring them together But I eat, I do not bring them together I just leave them as far as part as they can because if I put them together my boobs are just gonna look like so humongous and like <laughs> You know like a little bit too much. I just want it I just want them to be like I just want my nipples to be covered and for them to be like lifted a little bit So I keep it all the way separated with this little thing but um I reused this a couple of times and it stays sticky and I also got this at Discovery that store that I'm talking about but I mean you can find these anywhere and so I just make sure that when I'm when I'm done using it I put the plastic back on to keep the stickiness um, intact so I'm gonna put this on and put this on and be right back okay sticky bra and dress is on My hair is already naturally straight. So really I just do this to like tame the frizz and make my dry ends look not so bad, you know? This is the side that I straightened. And this is the side that I have not straightened yet. So you see how the ends just look a little bit more tamed and better? Okay, hair's done. That's easy, right? Let me just straighten like this little tiny piece here. It kind of curls for some reason. There. That's it. I don't even do anything to the top. I just, it's pretty much just the bottom of my hair. So I don't, I didn't really straighten any of the top parts. Easy. I have very easy low maintenance hair. I love this eyeshadow. I love wearing purple and I love how it looks with the dress. Like it just matches perfectly. So I'm going to put my ring on. I know you guys, I always like, I either have my ring on or I don't. It's because I always take it off because it fits me a little bit big and I don't want to lose it again. You guys already know I lost it once. No, I lost, this is my second engagement ring. This is my second engagement ring because my first one I lost in Lake Michigan. So sad. So this is my second one. I don't want to lose this one. So I don't wear it that much until I get it resized. But the thing is, I don't know if I want to keep this one because I kind of want to get this other ring. <laughs> so that's why I haven't taken this one to get resized. Okay, so I got my jewelry and I also put on my nose ring. I always take off my nose ring before I do my makeup because I don't like getting any makeup on it because I like for it to be super shiny and sparkly. Let's see, perfume, what should I wear today? I don't know what I'm feeling. Ooh, should I wear Dolce & Gabbana? Yeah, I haven't worn in a long time. I only wear Dolce & Gabbana light blue in the spring and summer, mostly just in the summer, but today just feels right. It's like the first day where it feels kind of springy and, you know, I have like a dress on. It smells so good. You guys, what the heck? I'm like getting freaking tech neck. Have you guys heard of that? Tech neck. Were you getting wrinkles on your neck from freaking looking at electronics so much? Like looking down in the laptop, looking down in the phone too much? And you start getting these wrinkles in your neck? 
gonna apply a little bit of my soul shimmery body oil oh a lot came out well i was not expecting that so i can be shiny shimmery glowy this is by color pop so you can find this at the color pop website and you can find this like at ulta so i'm gonna apply some to my legs put on my heels and then i'll show you guys my complete outfits So that completes today's video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys enjoyed watching me, then please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Also follow me on Instagram and TikTok at GabDell2. I love you guys, and I will see you all next time. Bye.